Hello, all. Good morning. At least by the time I post this, it'd be morning. <laughs> so, good morning. All right. So, we're, this is a this is a self development bitch, y'all. Today. All right. So, I kind of want to see what uh, Holy Spirit has for my collective in this self development reading. Um, I was doing a reading, I love reading, and a couple of cards came out that I felt very directed to pull on today for this self-development reading for this morning. So the first one is Late Bloomer, this idea of a late bloomer. And we got Cinderella smack dead center there. Um, it says, I see, I know, um, imagination. Also, this means new perspective. I came up with definition child because i love the disney princesses and i kind of consider the, the disney princesses kind of being like these representations of like star seed stories because they're all all the princesses are very unique <laughs> you know they're not just people that are, are, are royalty but their individual characters are very star seedy in the sense that they're very intuitive they're very magical they oftentimes are very um like they pull attention because they're star seeds so they pull a lot of attention that sometimes they can you know pull some jealousy pull some like strange situations or whatnot with cinderella the thing about her is that what cinderella teaches us here is that seeing is not believing believing is seeing okay so regardless of cinderella's surroundings she always believed that a her environment does not color who she is as a person her environment does not dictate who she is as a person or how she shows up as a person she's still the sweetest she's still the sweetest pie <laughs> you know people can people can have misconceptions about Cinderella. They could think they're like, oh, she's different. Oh, she's dirty. Oh, she's poor. Oh, she's um, crazy. She talks to birds and mice. <laughs> you know, like, who cares about Cinderella, you know? You know? Maybe people have counted you out. <laughs> Oops. You don't think people haven't counted Cinderella out? The thing is about Cinderella is that she always, since she always believed, that means her manifestations always remain strong because she always had faith. She always carried on. She just kind of had that energy. She, she exemplified that energy of just like carrying on. And guess what? That That's what else was, has always been very fascinating to me about Cinderella is that not only was she deeply spiritual, but she communicated very closely to her spiritual team. Fairy godmother. Her fairy godmother. That's her that's her ancestors, her high vibrational ancestors of the light, her spiritual crew, her angels. They got her out of those situations. They prepared her for her elevation. She probably couldn't fathom or understand all that she was being put through or all that was headed for her she just knew that she wasn't a, a victim she always kept her positivity and she always knew that regardless of how things looked she always imagined the greater her greater life her greater existence and she stayed in that energy as if she believed she already had it regardless of how things looked regardless of how people may see what she got like oh she don't got nothing she, just, she don't got nothing over her. She's dirty. She's, she's dirty. She's dusty. She's talking to mice and rats. She's not competition. And then what? Cinderella rolled through that ballroom in this baby blue and sparkling. And she stole the attention of, of, of everything, of everyone. And she grabbed the attention of the prince. Who'd have thought that? And another beautiful thing about Cinderella is that she didn't need a whole lot of time to pull that attention. All she needed was a couple of minutes. There's this energy about you that, like, all you really need to make impact is just a little bit of time. <laughs> it's something here where you just, all you need to do is just give it just a little bit of effort or give it just a little bit of time, and you'd be surprised at how that sprouts into something significant. There's some there's message on the back here. Um, pardon my language, but it's the message I put on the back here. 
in the Cinderella story. It's inspired from Cinderella story. The, the message says, fuck your surroundings or how you grew up. Imagine more and then run with it. Then plot and run with it. That's the beauty about the story about Cinderella is that it doesn't matter what the surroundings are. It doesn't matter where you grew up. It doesn't matter where you've been. It's about where you're going. So always imagine where you're going, not where you've been. Because that's it. Where you've been is over. It's done. Okay? The only thing we can do is lick our wounds and heal and and believe that wherever we came from, we needed that. It, it, it led us up to this moment. There are no regrets. You hear me? It's serious. It's serious for us all to understand. We have to forgive ourselves. We have to heal ourselves because or at least treat ourselves like Cinderella will treat herself, right? Like, at least have that in mind, you know? Will Cinderella talk to herself like that? No, she wouldn't. Um, because that's how we muddy up our, the pull of our own manifestations when, when we no longer can keep the faith, when we decide that we no longer can keep blind faith, that we, that we now need to see um, we, need, we need to see in order to believe. Whenever we fall into that trap, then then we feel like we failed, and our manifestations kind of uh, fall away from us. And so, yeah, Spirit is saying definitely like be in the energy of Cinderella because anything can change like that overnight. I feel like this is all pertaining to the future. The past is gone. <laughs> the future ain't here. So what what can we do in the present to maintain our faith, late bloomer? It's something here as well about like, you know, that's another reason not to have regrets. <laughs> that's another reason to not have regrets because I get this vibe with you, my babies, that the best is yet to come, so da 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 da. Like we're not even there yet. Like I feel like <laughs> you haven't even seen all that's meant to be for you. <laughs> it's not here yet. Here we go. Oh my gosh, you haven't even seen all that's meant for you yet. Nothing's yet set in stone. Mutable moon. That's interchangeability. That's. <sighs> That's a switch up. <laughs> what does my collector need to know about this energy? What does my collector need to know? Holy Spirit, we even hold on. Eight minutes in, did I pray? Let's pray. <sighs> Father God, Mother Divine, Archangel Mike, Archangel Michael, please cover me and my collective as we receive these messages today. We only seek messages of your highest vibration messages that you deem for us to receive any ill will or evil eye energy kindly block the energy redirect it back to its original owner bind them in their own energy so it can never harm anyone again in jesus name amen oh my God. all right emotions are running high something's presenting itself to you my lovelies uh, what does collective need to know what does collective need to hear what does collective need to know what does collective need to hear Let's see if this is the deck. As it pertains to the future, what is my collecting to know? Well, let's see. What is the energy that I'm collecting to be in as it pertains to the future? Show me the energy that my collector needs to be in as it pertains to the future. Yeah. Your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn, so keep that step by step. Um, emotions are running high. So be nothing will come mm, nothing will come of this situation emotions are running high so be weary of um you are good enough okay so be weary of old preconceived notions and the way you used to direct yourself even the way you used to talk to yourself negativity i kind of forget that you know be careful of you know that you're not Allowing yourself to be too negative with yourself. 
what's nothing would come of the situation because sometimes those are just our emotions that could be speaking out for us things can even seem a little bit not like what they <sighs> don't allow your emotions to run wild during this time allow yourself to be clear because you don't want to run off of what you perceive if that's not correct. So make sure that you are clear seeing and clear feeling before reacting because you are good enough, okay? Heart chakra, um, something here with the heart chakra too. Yeah. Be careful how you're talking to yourself during this time. You are good enough. You are prepared for this time. Anything else that I quite like need to know? Anything else my clock into here? All right, that's not the deck. Let's move on. Anything else my clock into here as it pertains to the future? Inner Earth. You'll be establishing or building even sturdier foundations during this era of time that you're approaching or entering in. Inner Earth, it says base chakra, strength and security in laying foundations. You're also going to be receiving some important messages that I feel like... It's, it's going to change your life. All right? Yeah. It's going to change your life. <laughs> this is um, Merkaba activation. It says transcendence. It says ascension, and you are rising up. <laughs> As I said, it's going to change your life. <laughs> All right? So don't trick yourself out of it. Um, it could be a soul contract, whether it be romance or business, but it's going to significantly... Uh, just switch up the dynamics of your life. It says filling soul contracts and remembering who you are. So even rather this involves someone or not, it always involves yourself. You have wrapped up some soul contracts, or could be you could be wrapping up soul contracts and entering into some new soul contracts, or, or starting a new soul contract. But this is something that this is someone that's definitely a part of your soul family with this energy of remembering who you are. So you are going to be introduced or meeting more members, meeting more members of your soul family at this time. And they will continue to reinforce who you are at a soul level. They will remember who you are. They will feel who you are to them at a soul level. And this will continue to unravel the more and more you discover yourself. <laughs> Isn't that the beauty of it? That you start to really discover your soul family only after you discover yourself. Gaia Gateway. This, you've mastered or are mastering more and more of this earth school every day. Once upon a time, it may have seemed like a wash to you. Like, how can I be an adult in this world? Like, how can I figure this out? Like, I think you may have figured out that it's your way. Okay? <laughs> So however way you see it, however way you feel it, how you want it to be is how it can be. You don't have to follow anyone's rule of thumb when it comes to this earth school. And you realize that through your wisdom, we have a guy gateway activation, earth intelligence and learning experiences. You're putting enough weight in your learning experiences and your internal guidance from your angels, angel frequency. Angels are here. You are safe and potent connection. So... You're free. Your future looks free. <laughs> it says temple of truth. You're going to be expressing some type of, um, oh, some type of truth. Rather it be through communication, rather it be through your art, rather it be through some type of creation, rather it be some type of invention. I don't know. I think it's something that's going to be involving self expression, though. Um, something about the way you express it's very, um, it's authentically you. Is something here that uh, that people yearn for, or it speaks to them. Um, but you're activating your throat chakra, or you're helping people to activate their throat chakras, or someone's helped you to activate your throat chakra. But something very significant here is being significant is being communicated um, that I think is going to. It could be some kind of emotional communications, but definitely from the heart, it's definitely, it's going to trans, this is karmic release and radical transformation. The chamber of violet flame. So that card confirms this, um, 
radical switch up in your life, child. And <laughs> clarity, divine healing, high vibrational energy. Okay. I'm going to pull the clarifier for this temple of truth. What does my collective need to know as it pertains to this temple of truth? Yeah, people are going to want to. People are going to want to collaborate with you and work with you, okay? Once you, because of the way you express, you're opening up some sort of doorway here or opening up an opportunity for people to want to collaborate with you based off your authenticity, based off how you communicate, based off how you express yourself. Um... Based on how you stand in your power, yeah, I feel like you've transformed your whatever it is that you couldn't see in yourself has been transformed now, and you're experiencing a lot of like independence and security. Um, you could be feeling this way internally. Even if you don't have all the, you know, even if you don't have the security that you may be desiring or hoping for at this time, it's like, be sure that you're visualizing that. Be sure you're visualizing all the things that you desire and as if it's already here, that you're already existing in it, because it feels like that's what's going to be. That's how it is. That's what's going to be. That's what's destined to be. It's it's like it. the cards are already reading that that's what you are, that you are independently satisfied in your own space and energy in your physical world all on your own like you got this on your own what else am I collecting to know or hear Holy Spirit what else am I collecting to know what else am I collecting to hear as it pertains yeah Your self love, man. Oh my gosh. This eternal work that you've done on yourself with that one here. <sighs> this is a multitude of things. It's, it could be a new beginning in love. But this is, um, this isn't a love reading. <laughs> so, um, You're going to be embarking on a lot of new relationships. One of them is definitely looking like a love situation. Um, and this could be someone that's looking to collaborate with you. Yeah. But either way, it's a new beginning. And I feel like it's going to make you really happy. It's going to be something that you're going to want to work with or work on. Okay. Three and one can be significant. Okay, in the past you've had to walk away with some some pretty brutal endings, you know. I think in the past you could have dealt with some backstabbers or backstabbing situations um, that left you in your head. But it's like what you're walking into is what you earned. It's gonna be very different. It's gonna be very. Uh, how is this gonna feel to my collective? Show me how this is gonna feel to my collective once this comes in. <laughs> It's going to be wish fulfillment for you, babes. Oh, my. It's going to be an opportunity that's coming in here. It could even seem a little small to you at first, but it's expansive. It's going to make you really happy. Show me more about this opportunity for my collective. It's going to come through like gangbusters once it, once it finally rolls on through. Um... It's going to get a lot of information about this. It's going to cause a lot of change. It's like fast paced change with the wands there. Tell me more. Yeah. It could be something in the health field or in terms of resting or healing. Um, 
power car. Five of cups. Something's gonna come through a surprise. I think um, whatever disappointments that you've had in the past, whatever came that you felt came crashing down, that you felt extreme disappointment or loss of, that you've healed from, you're gonna get back tenfold. Something's coming back home. We're gonna be something to celebrate. Something to celebrate here. Something's gonna be put back in harmony. Hmm. Yeah, something to be made fair. As you move forward, something to be made fair as you move forward, my Empress. There's so much power in you. The way you move forward is unlike any way that anyone else can move forward, child. Like, it's just people marvel at how you move forward, how you move on. Um, how you can stay steady uh, because I don't know for some of y'all you may have a lot of responsibilities you know some of y'all may have children it's a lot of responsibilities you know <laughs> superwoman it's a lot of it's, it ain't easy being a superwoman a superman um, but <laughs> something here like y'all make it look easy <laughs> y'all make it look easy with Empress Energy being commanders in your world, you make it look easy. Having maintaining that uh, level of control effortlessly. If you don't have children, there's still this motherly energy that that you present to people, places, and things that make them feel very comfortable. Like you're their safe harbor. I oh, like a safe harbor. I don't know why, why, why I'm hearing like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. <laughs> maybe a lot of people try to like and connect themselves to you. Like they, people, maybe people like the maybe people look for you to save them or to be like some type of insurance. Like uh, people may have been used to like like bonding themselves to you. Like for the future, like ah, I'm not ready for you now, but you know, I'll ensure my spot in the future because I know you good because you're the empress, but I'm not quite prepared for the empress. I feel like you probably had a lot of like um, fake outs or people that just couldn't quite uh, handle your energy <laughs> and all that you acquire and demand. But it's that was that. <laughs> This energy of like where you're walking into is an elevation, so it's going to be specifically crafted for you, and uh, it's actually going to meet your demand. That's the truth. Where you're headed is going to meet your demand, it's going to meet your quality. It's going to meet your quality. It's going to be very attractive with the lover's card here. It's going to be a very beautiful and attractive situation. Yes, I could perceive this as an attractive love that you have brought onto you. But that's not, this isn't a love reading. You know, if we got those, love, I got them out there. So definitely feel free to check those out. But the lovers here, it's just, it's extreme attraction just in general. So you are... <laughs> extremely attractive in this time my darling like you're likely always attractive i'm sure but we all have different times but we just kind of shine, shine a little bit brighter we all have our seasons i say we may shine a little bit brighter this season than maybe last season it's that era for you <laughs> i'm saying um because you are a dream I also feel like you're entering your dreams, quite literally, with the Ten of Cups. Um, and we already seen wishes, wish fulfillment. So it's going to be wish. It's going to be wish fulfillment. It's going to be never in your wildest dreams 
Never would you be never in your wildest dreams could you ever picture this type of change. I also feel like some things may have had to die off or change in order to receive this. In order to reach this level of where you are today. Where you are to where things can properly meet what you require. The thing is the universe wasn't quite certain before how serious you were when it came to the things that you required or desired. Maybe our actions didn't reflect our standards that we were looking to curate and, and, and send out to the universe. Sometimes it takes a little bit for our actions to line up with the things that we want and the things that we desire. And so the universe kind of waits like, okay, that's fine. We know that you want it. We'll keep reminding you that you do want this, but we'll keep on also reassuring you that proper action will need to be made in order to receive this. And uh, it's like whatever wasn't ready to match you, it could... Yeah. You're walking into an era that's ready to match. So whatever couldn't... <laughs> you're walking into an era that's ready to match you. There was going to be at your disposal now. It's a different situation. It's a different It's a different situation. But it's something here where it's like it was always in your chart. It was always in your destiny to go this path. Even in... <sighs> there were no wrong paths. Everything you've gone through was exactly what you needed to go through. It was in your chart to go through it. You chose the situations, people, places, and things. And it was like you done good. You done good. My star, my star seeds. You done good. You've healed yourself. You allowed yourself, you've healed yourself and or have allowed yourself to be yourself. To be vulnerable. To be open to collaboration. Somebody wants to collaborate with you, my babes. This King of Pentacles here. <laughs> they wanna somebody wants to see you face to face. Somebody wants to do business with you face to face, collaborate with you. This is, could be a sponsor. <laughs> this King of Pentacles. Somebody wants to sponsor you. Somebody wants to invest in you. Someone sees you as that's investable. They want to take a leap. This King of Pentacles see you, sees this King of Pentacles sees you at the, the spark of a new beginning and they want to ride with you. This is someone that's gonna feel like a soulmate to you. This is gonna fit. You're not able to see this now. The moon card, it's hidden. But it's just gonna be the love that fits. It doesn't have to be romance, it could be business, but it's something that's going to be very lucrative. Give me a kind of like an angel investor kind of vibe, too. It's like heartbreak energy here. But this could have been a representation of the past. Because what you're not seeing. Somebody from the somebody okay. Woo! Okay, so for some of y'all, and this could still be a business situation. Some of y'all, somebody from the past is coming through that you can't it's it's hidden. You can't see it. But it, it, this could have been something that could have ended in some type of heartbreak of some kind that left someone in their head. But someone is preparing to invest in you because they feel like you got the courage and the resilience. It's like something may have broken down initially or something could break down or may seem to have broken down at 
first, but it's like someone will always remember your courage and resilience. And they'll always remember that you are the person that you got the stamina, that you got the power and the intelligence that you're the one. So, yeah, justice. And it'll, it'll be made right. It's going to be made right here. Because they'll see that you're the one. Temperance, yeah. They'll see that you're the one. Okay. To go with. So even if it's like a business situation, if this is a client or something, I don't... We did for everybody. It's going to be different for everybody. So let's go into advice. Okay. What does my... What does the collective need to be in for this energy? Show me the advice the collective needs to be in to receive this energy. Ooh. Continue to heal. Continue to allow yourself to... Or even awaken from your heal stage. Because this opportunity is gonna <laughs> re-energize you. It's it's gonna it's, it's it's a communication. Something can be communicated, and once you accept it, it's gonna bring a whole. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like oh my gosh! Like I can't believe this is happening. Like she's sitting there thinking about all she's been through. And that rainbow's on her back. So she's already passed. She's come through the storms. The storms are already long past. Even the rainbow's passed. So it's like... You coming out of this healing stage. You coming out of conflict and chaos. Into... This re-energized, you know, vibrant energy. This is the perfect place for you to start off your new beginning. I can't think of a better place for you to be. And energy for you to be in as you start your new beginning. And you're gonna be needing, you're gonna have to make some decisions now. It's like spirit is saying, okay, now that you're in the perfect space, now, now there's some choices to make. Okay. And you're gonna be you're gonna make them perfectly. You're gonna make the right choices. There's nothing even to worry or stress about. Use your intuition, ask for help, channel in, meditate, pray, you know, um, don't allow preconceived notions or uh, don't allow your uh, emotions to adversely um, carry you off in the wrong direction because mm, it's almost like what you desire desires you. What, show me the advice. What is my collecting to know? What is my collecting to hear? Truth. Hold your truth. Stand in your truth. You've been patient, or maybe you need to be patient at this time because spirit wants you to go with the flow, and it's going to be abundant. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do is just allow yourself to go with the flow and watch the abundant grow. Go with the flow. Watch the abundance grow. Go with the flow. Watch the abundance grow. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it's something here. It's something here. Okay. It's something here about also maintaining your um your energy, the quality of your energy, like a filter. Sometimes, you know, we can't just keep on running with the same. You know, if we got a better filter, we can't just keep running with the same filter we have to switch up that filter periodically so the same rule applies for us energetically in, in, in our in our mind our, our energy you know we want to make sure that we're constantly supplying our energy with things that we crave things that we love things that like uh keeps nourishing our interests keeps nourishing our creativity keeps nourishing our spirit um maintaining ourselves so being content with what we got, being grateful, being the energy of gratitude with that contentment card, and also maintaining our our energy and in, in our um, our character with innocence. So being sure that we're not allowing other people's energies to color our own, that we are the ones that are in control of our own emotions, right? All right. Um, I think that's fantastic. So yeah. It's looking like, you know, don't allow your emotions to 
to get in the way of this good thing. <laughs> because it's, uh, it's getting a little juicy out here for you, okay? And I'm not surprised because we're... <laughs> We really are, in a lot of ways, just getting this year started. Like, it really just started now. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Enjoy. If you like my vibe, please like and subscribe. Until next time. Mm -hmm.